Hello, dear friends. A very good day to all of you. And may you be blessed. May you be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the faith that we have in order to pass on to you. Be blessed. Be blessed. And may your day be different from today on. Because God, my dear friends, He wants the best for us, for all of us. He wants the best. He doesn't want anything. He wants the best. And of course, for us to have the best from Him, we also must give our best to Him. And the best that we can offer Him is our belief and faith, our life, our soul, our spirit, our body, our holiness. You know, the Bible says that the heavens proclaim God's glory and all the earth announces, the earth announces the work of His hands. So, whenever you look at God's greatness, for example, when you look to the heavens, to the sky, and you see the endless, you see the stars, the moon, when you admire God's greatness, not only what your eyes are able to see, but when you, for example, you enjoy, you taste, for example, a fruit, whether it's uh, the melon or the grapes, an orange or a mango, any kind of fruit, that fruit right there that you enjoy, that fruit was made for you and for me, for each one of us, for the human beings. So, God's greatness, we see, we see it endless. When we look to the skies, God's greatness we see in the small details of life, on a fruit. Who is capable to make a fruit? Who is capable to make, to bring about the vegetable? Who is capable to create the bird, right? Who is capable to make a Solomon of life? So look at God's greatness and believe that He is with you when you are with Him. He is with us when we are with Him. So, the God's action in our lives depends on this belief, this faith, this supernatural faith, this intelligent faith that brings about God's presence to us. It is God's glory in us. So, I know that, like you, like me, all of us, we face difficulties, tribulations, deserts, but all this that we endure on earth is nothing, absolutely nothing, in regards to God's greatness, to God's glory. And that is what we must bear in mind so that we can recognize that God is glorious in a way that when you pray to Him, you say, My God, think about His greatness when you pray. Now that, you, now that we are in this quarantine, we have time for that. You have time to talk to God. You don't have time to go out or to be in sin, right? You are on a lockdown. If you go, if you are going to sin, you are going to get contaminated with the virus, right? So you have the reasons now to think about God. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. Think about God's greatness. Psalm 19 shows this greatness. See God there, and you can surrender yourself to Him. Yes, render to Him. Confess your sins. Humble yourself before Him. And He, he will come before you. 
the word of God through David says, pleased with God. Yes, you have to please, you have to be pleasing, and He will satisfy the desires of your heart. So, dear friends, focus your faith in this way, intelligently. Don't waste your time with gossips, with fights, with wrong things, or media's ideas, or the celebrities around you. Don't worry about what somebody said. No, don't worry about what they say. Just focus and look at God, God's Word. I look at the skies. Where does my help come from? My help comes from my Lord. This is glorious. So, may God bless you, friends. Use your intelligence. When you think about God, use your thoughts according to His thoughts. The heavens proclaim and the, work, the earth shows the work of, the, of God. If you don't see this glory and the work of His hands, then you don't believe in Him. And if you don't believe in Him, you will make the biggest mistake in your life. The greatest sin is not the prostitution, is not theft, is not to kill someone. The greatest sin is to disbelieve in God before the greatness that He shows to us on a daily basis. So God bless you with this vision. In the name of Jesus, amen.